um, on the 16th of May, we did observe the offendant um, assault his blonde uh, female accomplice about the head with a brick. We were unable to intervene given the nature of our cover. Um, we did our best to verbally try. Uh, yeah, Your Honour, on the 16th of May, uh, my partner and I, we followed the defendant uh, to an area where we believed he was beating up with a girl. We witnessed him hit her with a brick. Unfortunately, we were unable to take any photos of, of the incident occurring. Uh, following the assault with the brick, uh, I accompanied the defendant uh, to his uh, place of uh, abode and um, my partner uh, attempted to resuscitate the victim. Uh, he also was able to uh, locate a small piece of the brick that had been used in the assault. I believe that's Exhibit C. From then on, we, we, we continued in our spot, stayed and watched. That's where you can see we picked up an artifact which would be uh, a section of the brick uh, that was used. Uh, that's, that's object number C on the table. Uh, when we arrived at the address, the defendant instructed me to open the glove box, Your Honour, uh, in which I found a loaded .22 calibre pistol. I, um, I asked him exactly what he wanted me to do with it, and he indicated in no uncertain terms that I was uh, to terminate Mr Harris. I asked him to repeat the instruction and uh, if I may quote, he said that I was to get inside any way I needed to and take care of that uh, person. Me and my partner have actually been, uh, we've been, we've been talking to the defendant on uh, several occasions, unfortunately we haven't been able to get him to talk and there has been some missing footage. Uh, that we're unable to locate this time. Uh, we're confident that we're taking the next step forward and we'll have some further information in regards to this shortly.